but emulation is you being a what a copycat. The, the way this man's mannerisms, you want to act like it. The way you tie the garment around yourself, you want to act like. The way you got your hands in your pocket, you want to act like. You wanna, no, that's emulation. The scriptures are against that. So it's according to the flesh. So if you're doing that, you're walking in the flesh. You okay? And it says, what? Wrath. So, yeah, we get angry, but you don't want to be wrathful. You just, you're just barking. You're just barking in a lesson. There's a difference. You don't just want to be barking at brothers. And the scripture says that. You shall eat and drink with a drunken, because you've got more men, they're more concerned with they want to, they'd rather drink and eat rather than do the work. Oh, I feel like eating, I feel like drinking. That means you're not in the spirit. Rough, strife. So yeah, you're angry, but you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not doing videos rough full. You could be angry in a video, but, but there could be a passion behind it. You're not rough full, you're not barking, looking all uh, demonic as hell. Rough strife and a lot of strife. A lot of men have got demons in them causing strife. Right? Oh, this man, this man, this man, done that, this man, done that. Worry about yourself, examine yourself. Seditions. Right? Uproars. Heresies. So, heresies is one that makes up his own opinion. Right? So, you're not supposed to have your own opinion in this truth. We're not supposed to have our own opinion. Oh, well, I feel, I feel this, I feel that. Forget that. It's about what the scriptures say. Is it in the scriptures? Okay. Envyings. Right? You've got men that envy other brothers. Why? Because they're growing. Well, you should be happy for that brother. Right? And maybe you should even inquire of that brother. Well, what did you do to get to that to that to that point? Don't envy him. Don't talk down upon him. Okay. Oh, well done. And I've always I've noticed that. Why is it? It's always the men that knew a whole bunch of scriptures, a whole bunch of laws that were well spoken. You no longer see them, or they lose the spirit because they were looking down upon other men. They thought they had it all. We're always growing. We're going shut off soon. Okay. Envyings. And what does envying lead to? Okay. Murders. And envy leads to, to, to adultery, robbing, lying, murder. Okay. And it says drunkenness. And that's another thing. If you can't handle your drink, all right, just don't drink. And especially if you can't handle your drink, it's better not you get on camera and do a reprobate video because then you end up looking like a fool, right? Murder's drunkenness. So yeah, you can get drunk, but if you're going to get drunk, get drunk in the own confines of your own space, right? Just like Noah. Noah was drunk, right? But he was drunk in his own what? Confines, right? In his own safety. You can drink. The scripts ain't against alcohol, you can drink alcohol, right? But there's a balance, right? Reveling, so you don't want to be what? Reveling, especially if you're in this world, all right? How it is you should be teaching this word? Wait a How it is you should be teaching this word? But guess what? You want to be reveling. You want to be all up in these clubs, okay? Getting your boogie on. When you want, we got work to do, okay? And it says, revelings and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in past time, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So you've got to put those things away. If you were doing those things, you were someone that always needs to go to the club every Saturday or Friday, and what? attain knowledge, wisdom, and a lot of these clubs, what happens? Adultery. Mo most of these clubs. A lot of these women that go to clubs, most of them have got men, but they still go to clubs. And they leave what? Their children at home with the, with, with the mother or the grandma, 
And know what? They're hard enough in these clubs. So a lot of these clubs are, are, are what's it? A hot spot for adultery. Okay. But the fruit of the spirit is love. So if you have your Habitat spirit, you're gonna have these things, you're gonna possess these things. So you'll be able to know the men that have the spirit of your Habashai. Joy, peace. So you're also gonna have joy in this truth. Okay? And peace. Alright? And peace. Long suffering. Alright? Gentleness. Goodness. Faith. So these are the attributes. Let's read this again, but the fruit of the spirit. That's the workings of the spirit. Okay? Love. So you're gonna love your brother. Right? You ain't gonna be scheming on him. Joy. Okay. So you're gonna have joy teaching this word. This is a great joy for me. You may have the most beautiful woman. This is this is more precious than the most beautiful women out there. This is more precious than the finest gold you can have, the, the, the biggest chain. Peace, and you're going to have what? Peace. Tranquility. Because this is what this word brings. Tra well, it's supposed to bring that. Tranquility to our soul. Right? And it says, long suffering. So you're also going to be long suffering with your brothers, patient with them. Not just flying off the handle. You weren't just going to be flying off the handle. Bear me just a minute. Quickly want to go to something. Scriptures talk about mistreating them servants. Go to Matthew 25. Quickly go to Matthew 25. All right, this is Matthew 25. And we're going to jump straight to... Here we go. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, okay, his mind, okay, my Lord of life is coming. I, it's, it's not happening. You, you think we got another three years? You think we got another four? Okay. And shall I begin to smite his fellow, his fellow servants? So what are you smiting him in? A baseball bat? No. You're smiting him with what? Your tongue. You're treating him the wrong way. And I've seen men that have done that. They don't know how to treat brothers. Because they don't know, because you don't know your that's why. Because really, because you're not in the spirit. That's all, that's all it is, because you're not in the spirit, you're in the flesh. Okay. And to eat and drink, so you got men that they, they rather drink and eat rather than do the work. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. So Yahweh is going to come when you least expect it. And in the hour that he's not aware of, he's going, to, he's going to find you when you're not aware. And shall cut him asunder, his portion of white. Him his portion with the hypocrites. All right? And it says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's why, again, if you really had fear of Yahweh, you're going to be careful of how you are operating. Go back to Galatians, we're going to shut off soon. Okay, let's go back to Galatians. We were on Galatians 5. And where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it? Galatians 5 and... Because you got that as well, men that would team, team up with other men that don't like you. You know? Because what, they're wicked. We're going to shut up. Let's go to Galatians 5 and 23. Meekness, fruits of the spirit. Meekness, humble. And it takes humility to be able to teach others as well. Okay. And also to be taught. Temperance, balance. Okay. Men, men have told me, no, but he lacks temperance. No. Don't mistake temperance for being lukewarm. A lot of men mistake temperance for being lukewarm and not doing anything. Your temperance, temperance just means you're balanced. Temperance means you're disciplined. 
So if you're temperate, really you're disciplined in the work of the Lord. Against such there is no law. And they that are much yucks have crucified the flesh with the affection of the lust. If we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another and envying one another. It's, it's, it's written down in the scriptures. Everything we need to, to have, everything we need to have so we could become better and stronger in this faith. Right? So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shut a worm to the hopeful elect. Shut a worm.